Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, whatever the cards want to say, really. Sorry, just bear with my camera for a minute. It takes a minute to adjust to the free, to the um, pictures. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to look into whatever the story is. You know, random messages pop out sometimes. So this could be about an ex, new person. It could just be about you, your career, just whatever the cards want to say right now. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, you can email me. My email is below, and then I can go more in-depth into your personal situation. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. It is right below in the description box below this video. Ooh, okay, we got some good energy here, Leos. We got some good energies. Let me see what this card is about, though. I want to clarify that. Um, but we have submissive, weak-willed, we have apology and regret, and we have love offer and commitment. Do you see this this energy? This masculine energy is holding a rose in both these. And I almost feel like maybe in the past you wouldn't have accepted this back, but now you're accepting it back. Now you're open to it. Or this could also be like a love interest that like maybe you kind of saw them as a friend and now you're realizing that there's something more there so it's like i'm just getting the sense that like whatever this was this rose that was offered or that this person wanted to offer you like you would not have accepted it in the past but you'll accept it now so this could be someone that really messed up but like some time has gone by and you're more open to it or like they're they're actually doing the right thing to make amends they're not just giving you a half-ass apology this is like a real genuine apology if they messed up or like I said, the other story I'm getting here is that this could just be somebody that um, like offered you, because I'm also just looking at the picture here where it's like they offered you this rose in the past, but you saw all the mud and all the, the blood coming down this person's arm. You know what I mean? So it's like you didn't really, it didn't look shiny and new to you. So this could be someone that you were friends with that you like never knew that they were into you um, or you didn't take it seriously or it was like always the wrong timing with you guys, like. They were busy, you were busy, you were with someone else, or they were with someone else, or both. Um, or, like, you both were kind of insecure or shy. Just some kind of, like, detachment. But I feel like they're coming around now, and it's like you're recognizing that that this is this is what you want. You know what I mean? Like, they're offering you this rose now. They're submitting to how they feel. So they're either apologizing if they've done you wrong or they're they're cleaning up their act. Do you see the, the two different energies too, how this person's kind of dirty? Because I'm really drawn to like look at the pictures in this particular context. You see how this one, it's like he, his arm's kind of dirty and this one's like all like clean shaven and all nice. So it's almost like... Almost like someone that like you like you rejected them or you weren't sure about them or it was always the wrong timing or there's just some reason why it didn't work out with this person in the past. Um, be it being just friends or be it maybe maybe they messed up whatever it was, but I'm getting that they kind of cleaned up their act whatever the story was they cleaned up their act and now they're presenting you this new rose they're presenting you it's like look this man looks like he just shaved he or she it could be female too you know take it as it resonates there's there's no gender here. But, um, but yeah, whoever this person is, it's like they're, they cut their hair or they shaved or they, they're making themselves pre pre uh, presentable to you. <laughs> Trapped blocks tied up. I'm sorry, my phone's stupid. Let me, give me a second. <laughs> there we go. What is the trapped card about? New love, faded encounter, passion, romance, domination, control, pause, reflection, rest. Fear of commitment. Divine intervention. I think some of them didn't trust, you didn't trust your feelings or they didn't trust their feelings is what I'm getting. Like they were trapped in the past. Like they, um, like someone thought it was too good to be true or like they thought maybe this is like somebody that's not in your usual comfort zone. So you weren't sure if the passion or romance was there or like they weren't sure because they're not used to someone like you or you're not used to someone like them. Like it's just like, cause I feel like for a few of you, this is like somebody that you just saw as a friend or they just saw you as a friend. Like, like there was kind of that little bit of an interest, but like you guys weren't sure about it. Um, 
and someone wanted to be in control of the situation, like they didn't want to lose control because they're, they're like, I haven't experienced anything like this before. I haven't experienced this kind of love or this kind of connection. I haven't experienced um, this kind of, this, this emotion before. Like some of them had never really been in love before. And it just, whatever it was, I just get that the connection was like very different. It was very unique. Like the way that you guys talk to each other, the way you interacted, it was just something that they weren't really familiar with or you weren't familiar with it. So they kind of, it, like they felt it. They felt that love, but they, they wanted to, someone wanted to control the situation. Now, like I said, this could be you or this could be them or it could be both of you. Some of you are like, some of you, I feel like it like threw your life off, like where you're like, they live in like another state or they, um, or like what else? Like, like they live in another state or they, some of them, it could be like someone in the military for a couple of you, I feel. I feel like it's like, cause I'm just getting, and this isn't for everybody, but for like a few of you, I'm feeling like I just get someone saying like it would, it would throw everything out of balance. Like I'm, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, like they weren't ready for a relationship. Like they were like focused on school or they're about to join the military or about to move out of state or something like that. And they're like, dude, like, I can't, I can't do this right now. Or they're like, with, they just started something with someone else or they're, you know, still with someone else or whatever. They're like, like, okay, if I, if I got with this person, like, yeah, the passion, the romance is here. Like, I feel like this could be good, but you know, I would have to move to another state or I'd have to, you know, how would I make this work when I'm going overseas or, you know, would they accept my job or, um, you know, what is the living situation going to be like? Like, because some of you are like living with other people or they're, they are. So they're like, well, where am I going to live? You know, like you have all these questions. So it's like, or they do, you know, or both of you do. And so someone wanted to be like dominant and in control because they're like, okay, I'm not used to this energy. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, I haven't felt this kind of connection before, you know. I'm hearing Rebecca for one of you. But, um... I'm seeing like a restaurant on the water. That's interesting. This is just for one of you. It's like a specific person. I see like a, like a wharf or something. Like like you live by the ocean. Because I see like a pier. Does that make sense? I don't know. But it's just for one of you, I think. But anyway. So it's like, yeah. Like this person kind of like paused. And like they let their fears get their best of them. Because they got in their head. And they started overthinking things. And they're like, wait a minute. Okay, like yeah, there's passion. There's chemistry here. But you know what? Like I haven't experienced a relationship like this before. Like... Maybe this person's usually very logical and with you, they're more emotional. So they were kind of freaked out. Um, so they kind of paused and they were like, you know, like, I'm kind of like, I'm afraid of, you know, they, they like afraid of commitment. They're like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. Like, what would my life look like? What would their life look like? Like, we have to make so many changes to make this work. But the divine intervened. You know, this person got lost in their head for a while. And this could be a number of years. This could be months. This could be years. This could be this person like, let this go for a long time. And then they bump into you or you guys start talking or, or just whatever. Like Mercury retrograde energy might, might be bringing you guys back into each other's path. Because there's divine intervention. There's synchronicity here. So the divine is getting someone out of their head. Somebody, and this could be you. This could be you or this could be your person. And the divine is getting someone out of their head because someone was basically sat, like basically sabotaging this connection because it was uncontrollable. Because they weren't used to it. Because... They, they didn't see how it would fit in with their current life path. Um, but the divine intervened. The divine is get, getting you or getting your person or both of you out of your heads because, you know, it's true love for a lot of you. Um, choosing their words wisely. Or there's some kind of lesson here too is what I'm feeling. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Yes, yeah, some of them it's like the divine stepped in and made this person think about you with this Mercury retrograde energy out of nowhere. And so now this person is like planning their approach and wanting to come in and talk to you if they have not done so already. They're like, wait a second. Like, wait, I should fit this into my life somehow. I don't know. Like, I have a busy schedule. I have a lot going on. Maybe I have another partner, but I'm leaving that person anyway. Like, how do I, how do I make this work? What's happening here? You know, someone's figuring it out. Someone is basically figuring it out because they're not willing to let you go. So it's a really beautiful energy. And like I said, if this is your story and you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Like I said, you can just check the description box below this video. And my email address is right in the description box. So you can just copy and paste it. 
Yeah, someone was in stagnation. Um, and also, please, I want to say, you know, please donate if you can. Any, even just a dollar, it really adds up. It means a lot to me. My donation links are below. Um, I really appreciate it. And please subscribe if it resonates. But yeah, we have stagnation, complac complacency, fast-moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. So I feel like in the past, this person felt like, like they were very logical. So they're like, oh, it's, it's unstable to move too quickly. Um, but you know what? Love is not going to wait for anybody. You know what I mean? So it's like happening. So it's like almost like what I'm getting is that someone was stagnant and they're being pushed out of this energy by their spirit guides. This could be you. This could be you that's scared. You could be afraid. You could be missing this person from your past and you feel like there's still something there and maybe you have their phone number, but they don't have yours or something of that sort. Um, you know, or this could be your person. It could be both of you. Both of you could have fed on each other's fears, honestly. But someone or, you know, both people were stagnant and the, the divine stepped in. And, um, you know, this is coming in quickly. Sudden turn of events. Mercury retrograde energy. But someone always had it in their head. Someone is changing their perspective because I feel like someone had it in their head that, you know, it's unstable to move too quickly. They're like, okay, it's not realistic to say I love you a month in the relationship. It's not realistic to get married six months into the relationship. Like someone likes to control and plan everything out step by step. And the divine is basically pushing them. It's like a little, I keep seeing that little, that little penguin gif on Facebook where the, the penguin walks by and the other penguin just pushes him into the water. <laughs> Have you guys seen that gif? I love that gif. But it's that kind of energy where, like, in the past, someone was like, okay, this is unrealistic. This is, like, we can't just give into our passion. Like, I have to... You know, it's like someone, like, wanted to control their whole life. Someone was like, well, I have this plan to go to school, and I have this plan to live in this location, and I have this plan to do this and this and this, and if I have a relationship with this person, I have to, I have to live somewhere else, or I have to go to a different school, or I have to... Um, I'll have to transfer jobs or I'll have to, um, you know, change my living situation or this or this or this. And and it's like someone was just like freaked out because they're like, wait a minute. No, I have my whole life planned out. I have this little this little narrow path that I have to go down. And the divine is like, no, nah, this is true love. You don't get to plan it out anymore. Like this is coming in quick. Someone's been stagnant. Someone's love life has been stagnant. Someone has not someone has not been with anyone for a while or like they've been in like a like a dead end relationship, honestly. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but some of you have been like with like someone, but you're not happy. Like you're like with somebody, but like you miss this other person or you long for this other person. Like you long, I just get the sense of someone like longing for passion and romance and adventure and fun. Like someone's like overworked or they're like in like a, a boring relationship or like a toxic relationship and they're longing for this other person or this other energy. Or it's like they're single and they've been single for a while. Like they have the same old routine, not really leaving the house, not doing much or just like like going to work, going to the same places again and again. You know what I mean? This is like the energy of like someone that's not really having fun, honestly. And they've always been like controlling about it. Like always like, you know, like, oh, it has to, you know, I have to have my life planned out. Otherwise, like they're just, they're afraid of losing that control. And they're having this new perspective come in where they're going to realize that, you know, it's not mentally unstable to find your true love and, you know, get married within a year or, or six months or whatever. Like sometimes life just happens like that. Sometimes, you know, when you have past life, a past life connection, and that's what I feel for this group, for this energy group too, is like, this is like soul recognition. So you guys experience soul recognition with each other, where it's like, you just feel like you've known each other for centuries. Like you just feel at home with each other. And for someone, in it, for one of you, it, it freaks you out because you're just like, what is this? I haven't experienced this. And you just, uh, someone assumed it was like mental and stability where they're not that not that they threw the whole connection away but just that they thought like like they, they just have this like this um limited perspective where they think that you know you can't move too quickly or you have to do things this way like like my way or the highway kind of energy and the divine is really teaching them a lesson about letting go of control issues because when love happens there's there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. It's it's love is here. You know what I mean? Love is just here. You're going to have to deal with it. Like it might mean a difference. It might for you or for them or both of you, it might, mean it, it might mean that your future looks different than you expected. It might mean that one of you has to move somewhere. It might mean that 
Um, it just it might mean it, it might be different energy than what you expected. You you feel me? So someone's having a change of perspective. They're like, you know what? Like love is going to come in. And I think I think that's also saying at first, like when this, because this is going to move very quickly. Some, some of you guys, like either you or them are going to kind of get stuck in your head a little bit where you're going to be like, oh my God, this is happening so fast. Like I must be crazy because I feel like I've known this person forever. Like, could this be real? Like, or like you're thinking that or they're thinking that. And like, it's, it's going to be cleared up though. I feel like this energy is going to be cleared up. Yeah. Because you guys are going to realize it's soul recognition. It's mutual feelings. It's emotional depth. Like you guys are going to have that recognition that this is just like what you've both been longing for. I, like I said, I feel like you've both been alone for a long time. Like, and you've both been kind of longing for like a certain type of connection where this is like a best friend connection where you're going to be goofy. You're going to be, you're going to have everything with this person. You're going to have the passion, the romance, the playfulness. I feel like the sex life is going to be really good. I think for some of you, you're going to like experiment sexually with them or they're going to do it with you. Like what someone here is like, I don't want to say sexually inexperienced. And this is probably just for like one or two of you. But I feel like some for some of you, it's like, like the sex is like boring, like with God, I hate to say it, but like with your current partner, like there's like, like, oh, what is this energy? I just feel like like some kind of different sexual energy here. I don't know how to explain that. I hope that makes sense. But it's almost like it, the sex is going to be different than it's been with other people for both of you. It's going to be like the, the passion, the chemistry, like the things you guys do. I don't want to get too deep into your sex lives unless you want me to. If you want to get a private reading, I'm down to go into your personal sex life if you'd like me to. But um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just going to be different is what I'm feeling. Like this is what you've both been longing for. This is what you've both been wanting. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's that energy. You guys ever see the movie Love, Rosie? It kind of reminds me of that movie, honestly. It's a really cute movie. You guys should watch the movie. Yeah, because this could be someone from your past and they're being vulnerable. They're coming back around because they want this adventure. They want this honeymoon. They want this new start with you. This truth is coming out. Someone cannot wear the mask anymore. They're breaking. They're submitting. Someone's submitting to their feelings. Someone cannot wear a mask anymore around you. Someone has just like, like the mask has come off and there's no putting it back on. Someone has just, they're submitting. This person might be really logical usually, but they're submitting to their emotions and they're realizing, okay, I don't know what my life is going to look like now because I did not expect this. I was not ready for a relationship. I wasn't ready for this kind of connection, but you know what? It's here. I'm going to go for it. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, because I feel like they were like, like they, they were, they've been unhappy. There's like depression here where it's like someone was like waiting and hoping and praying for this kind of love. But when it came around, they sabotaged it. Like they weren't, they didn't know what to do with it. But now someone's having the willpower and strength and confidence to um, to to go after the mystery, the beauty, the enchantment, the adventure, the passion, the romance. It's almost like someone like either you or them, like you've been asking for for passion, for adventure, for fun. But then when it comes along, like you or them, they like someone sabotages it. Someone's like not used to it. You know what I mean? Where you're like, and now someone's like, no, like I'm committed to this. I'm devoted to passion and chemistry and love some of you tried to like go for the stable boring relationship and it backfired some of you tried to marry and like like marry or like be with someone who's like more like good on paper or they did um and now it's like they're realizing they're like no I actually I don't want to live my life like this someone someone's been stagnant and numb and bored um with their life but like maybe both of you and they've been longing like you guys have both been longing for this kind of true love for so long and so someone's just breaking. Someone's going to submit. You know, the mask is coming off because someone's giving into passion. They're giving into chemistry. Someone's devoting themselves to passion, to beauty, to mystery, and to enchantment, to, um, to mutual feelings, emotional depth, to, um, to vulnerability, receptivity, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. You know, someone's devoting themselves to this energy. They're like, you know what? I My life is passing me by. I don't want to be in an unhappy relationship forever just because it looks good on paper. I don't want to be alone forever just because I, I wanted to plan my life out. So someone's letting go of the control issues and they're giving into this energy. They're giving into true love. It's really beautiful. As I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. It's right below um, in the description box below this video. Please like and share and subscribe. Thanks.